Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Maite. Anyways, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me at Maite Bates. And if this is your first time to my YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this video, what you plan on using from this video, and if the video was a blessing to you. And of course, hit that like button if this was something you enjoyed. Anyways, as you can see by the title, today I'll be giving you four tips on how to start journaling, okay? So first, I'll be showing you that I have two tangible journals that I am currently actively using. And then of course, my notes in my phone, I consider to be like some sort of a journal for me because whenever I don't have these at hand, I usually just go to my notes and create a note so that I won't forget what thought came through my head. So, as far as the tips go, the first tip I can give you is, obviously buy yourself a journal. You can go to Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, 99 cent store, Walmart, Target, Kroger, anywhere, and buy yourself something that you think is super cute because I find that when a journal is super cute, I feel a little bit more motivated to write in it. <laughs> And then of course, if you're a pen collector like me, find your favorite pen or your cutest pen and use that to write in your journal. And that is not tip fully number one, but that's part of tip number one. So to finish off tip number one, I say brain dump. If you don't know what brain dumping means, it's basically like when you have so much going on in your head, like let's say at night, your brain is just running, your brain is just running, and you're like, oh, I can't go to sleep. What do you do? Grab your journal, grab your pen, and just dump all of those thoughts, ideas, into your journal. That will help you clear your mind, that will help you organize your thoughts, and just like brain dump, like get rid of everything that's running through your head. That is tip number one. I usually brain dump at the beginning of my day or the night before whenever I have so much going on in my head that I want to plan for the next day. That's usually when I do my brain dumping. And then tip number two, what else can you write in your journal? Your feelings. It's almost like a diary, but I think journaling is like an adult version of saying diary, if that makes sense. So this is my personal journal, like my diary. And then this one is my church journal, my Bible study journal. And sometimes I do it here too, depending on what feelings I'm feeling. And if I find a scripture related to what I'm feeling, then I probably would write in here. But this is the one that I carry to church, write down my notes from the sermon. Um, if I'm doing Bible study here at home, I would take notes in this one. So this one is not so much personal feelings if I'm mad at someone or you know, if I feel accomplished, I wouldn't write it in here. I would write it in my personal one. So if you wanna get two to dif differentiate, then I suggest you do that as well. Um, so tip number one was obviously buy a new journal and brain dump, just to get all of your thoughts, all of your ideas onto paper. Tip number two is write down your feelings, whatever kind of feeling you're feeling, whatever emotions you're feeling, happiness, sadness, why, who, what, where, when, just get all of that out on paper. Tip number three is one that I so, so much love to do, is write down my dreams and my goals, and I always make sure to write the time and the date. Let me see if I find an example. And I also like to write a song that might be related. So, um, if you can see here, the time, the song, and then the date. That way whenever I go back like a few months later or a few years later, I'm like, wow. It was this time of the day and I was listening to this song and it was this date and I kinda can remember exactly how I was feeling during that time. So that's why I always say write the time, write a song and write the date um, whenever you're gonna journal because it just, 
it just helps you go back to it and realize like, wow, I was really going through this during that time. I've overcome it and yeah. Um, and tip number four is write down your idea. So let's say you wanna start a business. This is the perfect place to start it. This is the perfect place to organize it. This is the perfect place to start budgeting for what you want. This is the perfect place to start listing things that you might need to purchase and their prices and what website you found them. I love doing that here. Personally, I have two sections in here. I have like my personal, my personal half here in the front half. And then on my second half, I have my YouTube plan 2020. Don't look too much into that. But I made a tab right here. And then I went and I wrote down my goals, um, video ideas, brands to show you guys, um, personal things like mom life and etc. So many ideas I have here. My business, my so -so frito business plan. I wrote it down in this book and um, my goals of what my, my goals are for so -so frito and um, budgeting and all of that good stuff and new ideas and ingredients and my hair consultation tab is in here, um, the services that I offer and all of that good stuff, you know, just keeping track of all of my clients and whew, all of that good stuff is in here. So um, there's just so much you can do when it comes to journaling like there's an endless possibility of what you can use your journal for. I know there is such thing as bullet journaling, and I feel like that's more for a creative like artist because your girl cannot draw like. Anyway, so that's the only reason why I haven't gotten into um, bullet journaling, but I might try in the future. It depends, not sure. Anyways, so I know this video was super quick, straight to the point, and I really wanted you guys to um, just get that out there for you guys because I know some people are just so confused on where to start when it comes to journaling. So those are my four tips on how to get started and what to do whenever you do purchase your first journal. Again, I'll be writing all of these down below just in case you forget what I say and don't feel like going back. Number one is brain dump, obviously. Just get all your thoughts out on paper. Number two is get all of your emotions, all of your feelings down on paper. That will help you kind of analyze why you were feeling this way during that time. Tip number three, your goals and your dreams. Like when you have it on paper, I feel like they're more attainable because it's just there. It's not like just in your brain. You know what I'm saying? You can be accountable for yourself by having it down on paper. And then number four, go ahead and um, write down your ideas. Why not? Like, if you have goals, if you wanna start a business, anything, go ahead and write that down and don't hesitate to get started, okay? Again, my name is Maite. I really hope you enjoyed this video quick, straight to the point. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram at MyTayBates, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!